for some weird reason, I, I like wingers. And uh, that might be strange. He was elegant in the way he played. That was on by Dylan for Rogers. Three waiting in the centre for Portsmouth. And he had great delivery as well. And cut back for Haitley. He'd take players on this, so he'd glide past players and he'd, he'd deliver. Alan came at a sort of a time when it was all changing and we brought five or six players in to revamp a Division 4 side that needed revamping. And Rogers was one of, one of a few, Brisley, as I say, um, Terry Brisley, Joe Laidlaw. So what Frank Burrows was doing was getting players that were proven in the league above to come down to Division 4. And it worked like a treat and, and Rogers, no exception. Uh, I think it cost about £25,000 in, in, in those days. And he, he was, in his first season, part of, uh, of probably still for me, one of the most memorable Pompey sides ever, the team that won promotion from the old fourth division in 1979-80. And in, in, in that, certainly the first half of that season, Rogers was just outstanding. He, he was the guy that provided the ammunition from the kind of like the left wing, allowed the likes of kind of Colin Garwood and then David Gregory a bit later after that, Jeff Hemmerman as well was in that side, to score the goals that took Pompey eventually to kind of get in promotion, although it took a last minute squeak against Northampton to do it. That group was, for me, an eye-opener. Very good professionals. Um, Frank made sure of that. Alan fitted that mould. There was a few rascals in that group, uh, which you've got to have, I think, in most of the, uh, the squads that you have. But Alan was the more, I would say, level-headed. Um, and a gentleman. He was a gentleman. He is a gentleman. And not only was he a member of the team that won promotion in 1980, he also played in Bobby Campbell's famous 1982-3 third division championship winning side, who were, who were again, you know, a, a team who were, were head and shoulders above anybody else in that league. Rogers again with a kick, and here's the next corner, and there's Bailey! He was part of Pompey's resurgence, a big part of Pompey's resurgence. I mean, that's what, that was Alan's game. Fast, direct, run at people, and could cross a ball. Well, Alan had this famous step over, and I do believe that Cristiano Ronaldo was watching Alan when he was a, a kid, and he picked up this step over, because at this time, no one else was doing it, and it was Alan's trademark the little step over and he was gone, he beat the fullback. And he, he was very, very deceptive. Um, he, you know, he went past people for fun. He was someone that you, you looked at and uh, I admired uh, his professionalism all around. The goal at Fulham, uh, when he crossed it in for Mark Haightley at the far post, he does the step over. He beats the fullback, gets, gets around the fullback and hits a crossover. Again, Alan Rogers showed his kind of prowess on the left wing. There he was supplying the bullets for Alan Biley, kind of like um, Billy Rafferty in, in that particular team. You see him today and he hasn't really changed. <laughs> he looks exactly the same now as he did all those years ago. Uh, it was Steve Davey phoned me um, on the, during the week before the season started to say, would you be interested in coming to Portsmouth? Now, they were in the bottom league. In Plymouth were in the, I think it was well, the, league, the second division in those days. And I remember thinking, like, well, oh, my wife come to me and says, oh, well, that's a step down. I said, look, this is, you don't know what you're talking about. Portsmouth is a bigger club. You know, I was aware of the fans, always was. And so it really, it was, it was no contest. You know, I had to come to Portsmouth. He's from the West Country and kind of, you know, he's got obviously a great affinity with Plymouth, his previous club. But I think certainly you know, Pompey are up there for him as well because, you know, he, he had a, a fantastic spell with us. And, and you know, it, it, it's always great to see him down here. A long overdue uh, accolade for him tonight and uh, I, I think uh, thoroughly deserved as well. I think he was one of probably the best wingers I've ever seen play for Pompey. And that's going to cost you his ring, Rogers. Ha, ha, ha.